Satoshi Nakamoto, the anonymous creator of Bitcoin. Who is it? Are they alive? And if they are, what are they going to do with the infamous Satoshi wallet, which holds over 1 million Bitcoin? Well, today you are in for a treat because we're going to attempt to answer every single one of those questions and then some. So are you ready for the big reveal? Well, you don't really have a choice unless you turn me off, but don't do that because it's time for Chico Crypto. There are many theories out there which try to answer the question of who is Satoshi Nakamoto, like theorizing one of the original cypherpunks is Bitcoin's creator, Hal Finney, Adam Back, Nick Zabo, or We Die. But many of you who watch my channel should know I hold a different theory. My number one contender for Satoshi Nakamoto is Elon Musk, and I have a feeling he has a plan for the Satoshi wallet that is out of this world. Literally, I'm talking about Mars. But before we get into this plan, let's first look at the top reasons I think Elon is Satoshi. And I've made more than a few videos on this topic, so if you want the full picture, Watch all those videos, they are down in the description. Now, if you didn't know, when Bitcoin originally came out, it was only for Windows, and Satoshi chose to code Bitcoin Core in C++. As we can see from Bitcoin's first code commit, it was done in C++. I, I told myself how to program computers when I was a kid, um, and. Uh, um, Bought my first computer when I was 10 and sold my first commercial program when I was 12. Elon Musk has been a C++ champion since he first started coding. Early 90s, he worked on a video game where he wrote a multitasker for PC and C++, which could basically read video from a CD while running a game at the same time. And then Elon's company, X.com, was the first online banking company in the world, and it was coded in C++. Now remember, Satoshi was a Windows-only guy. Laszlo, an early Bitcoin developer and better known as a Bitcoin pizza guy, was interviewed by Cointelegraph in May of 2020 about his early work with Satoshi. And he said, Bitcoin originally didn't work on Mac, so I ported it to that. And Satoshi actually asked me to do the releases for Mac OS. I would do the build because he didn't have a Macintosh. He didn't know how to build it for Mac. So I was doing that and it was actually my binaries that were being posted. Satoshi loved Windows and he loved C++. Now Elon's X.com eventually merged with Peter Thiel's Confinity to become PayPal, but Elon was quickly ousted out of the company. Why? His love for Windows and C++. He was trying to get PayPal built on this, and Elon dove into this in a book released in 2015, Elon Musk, Tesla, SpaceX, and the quest for a fantastic future. In Appendix 2, they talk about the PayPal coup, and Musk says, as for the technology change that he wanted to do, that's not really well understood. On the face of it, it doesn't sound like it makes much sense for us to be writing our front-end code in Microsoft C++ instead of Linux. But the reason is that the programming tools for Microsoft and PC are actually extremely powerful. They're developed for the gaming industry. I mean, this is going to sound like hearsay in a sort of Silicon Valley context, but you can program faster. You can get functionality faster in the PC C++ world. Thiel wanted PayPal and Linux. Elon wanted a technology change to Windows and C++ of which X.com used. And they fired him because of this. But if you guys didn't know, X.com was the innovative side of the PayPal company. Elon spoke on this in an interview from 2005. Let's hear him describe X.com. So it's a way of paying for goods on the internet. It was a way of transferring money between one entity and another entity by specifying a unique identifier, which in this case was an email address. 10 years before Bitcoin was released, in 1999, Elon Musk created P2P payments using a unique identifier, in X.com's case, an email address. 10 years later, you have Bitcoin, P2P payments using a unique identifier, in Bitcoin's case, public keys. But regarding innovation at PayPal, what 
was the original goal of PayPal? Well, from this February 2019 article, we can see Luke Nosek, one of the OG founders of PayPal, said, Many people don't know this, but the initial mission of PayPal was to create a global currency that was independent of interference by these, you know, corrupt cartels or banks and governments that were debasing their currencies. And further in the article it says, Nosek, who is also a board member at SpaceX and a friend of another PayPal co-founder, Elon Musk, regrets that he and Musk did not have enough time to develop something that would be closer to the concept of a decentralized cryptocurrency. Their failure to do so was because they were pressured by investors to roll out the product as soon as possible. Obviously, the concept of a decentralized currency at PayPal was Musk's vision. So, have I convinced you guys Elon is Satoshi? Well, Elon was just on the Lex Friedman podcast in December of last year, and he answered if he was Satoshi. Let's listen in. I like how you said um, around 2008, so you're not, uh, you know, some people suggested you might be Satoshi Nakamoto. You previously said you're not. Let me ask. You're not, for sure. Would you, would, you, would you tell us if you were? Yes. He isn't Satoshi, but he would tell us if he were. Well, he has told us. In 2014, in a reply to someone asking his thoughts on crypto, Elon said, Well, now that Satoshi Nakamoto has been discovered, I guess it is case closed. So if Satoshi is alive, he would need to be a very wealthy person, as the temptation of cashing out the Satoshi wallet would be almost impossible to resist unless you already had enough money. Elon Musk's estimated net worth is $254 billion, making him the richest man on the planet. And as we can see from this article analyzing the Satoshi wallet and fortune, Satoshi mined over 1.1 million Bitcoin, which at today's price is worth over $22.2 billion. These coins have never moved. They have never been touched. They're just sitting there. That is a major chunk of change that only probably the richest man in the world could resist cracking into, someone like Elon Musk. So if Elon is Satoshi with access to these coins, what is his plan for them? Well, I have a theory that is too far out of this world for most people to think is true. But reality is stranger than fiction sometimes. Last year, it was announced that Elon SpaceX would be doing the Doge 1 satellite moon mission. And from Elon's tweet on it, we can see the mission was paid for in Doge, and Doge would be the first crypto in space. So obviously, if Doge will be the first crypto in space, there will be a Dogecoin payload within the satellite. If we go to the press release on the Doge 1 mission, we can see it says, Dogecoin has been chosen as the unit of account for all lunar business between SpaceX and Geometric Energy Corporation, and sets precedent for future missions to the moon and Mars. So after this, they do have future missions to send satellites to Mars. I wonder what could be on that payload. Now, before the Doge 1 mission was officially announced, Elon was doing some very cryptic things with his Spotify playlist, using the first letter of either the artist or title of the song. Beginning at the top, we can see first spelled out by Elon was Doge number one. Below this, what was spelled out was BTC. And then finally, the last thing was LMRST, which we've found out stands for Low Mass Radio Science Transponder, the type of satellite they are using for the Doge 1 mission. Now, why would he include Bitcoin when he was cryptically speaking about LMRST satellites and Dogecoin? Well, my theory, he is practicing sending a Dogecoin payload with Doge 1, but the eventual goal is to send a Bitcoin payload to Mars in one of these satellites. And I think that payload will be the Satoshi wallet. Just think about it, Elon's ultimate goal has been to get humans to Mars and colonize the planet. He has tweeted about what he wants to do with his money. Elon said, My plan is to use the money to get humanity to Mars and preserve the light of consciousness. He wants to use his money to get humanity to Mars. Could the Satoshi wallet be a part of that money? Well, think about it some more. 
what would be the biggest incentive in the world to create a Mars space race, getting humans to Mars in the quickest way possible? If it was known that one of these satellites orbiting the red planet held a massive Bitcoin payload like the Satoshi wallet, billionaires, even entire countries would put all their effort and resources into making a plan to get them to the red planet to retrieve those Bitcoin riches. Well, viewers, let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Do you think this is possible? Do you think Elon could be creating a massive incentive to get to the red planet? Well, remember, SpaceX does have plans to send another satellite to Mars after Doge 1. Cheers. I'll see you next time.